Well, look who finally decided Bethany, to- Bethany, get off my back! I'm sorry, Mr. Man. Are, oh, are you I'm, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. I'm, I've never heard you yell like that uh, before. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I just, I'm just having a rotten okay. day. What's going on? Oh, they're just, there's these kids in the neighborhood and I, I just can't catch them, but they're, they're just, they're taunting me. They're pestering me. Like every morning, really? listen, so every morning, every single morning I go outside and like there's this thin layer of like ice on my windshield. And mm. I don't know how they're doing it. Like, like maybe in the middle of the night, they're like dumping water on it and letting it freeze. Mm. Or, or maybe they've got like a, some sort of like a frost gun or something. And they're just like shooting my car. I don't know. Not, not frosting. Like that would mm. be fine if they wanted to shoot frosting on it. And I, I could just like wipe that into a bucket and save it for later, you know. But yeah. this is like frost. It's like just this ice. And I, I, I can't see. I can't drive. And it makes me late for everything. Is it just, the the frost that is on like everything in the morning? Like the other cars and no, stuff? No, I, I, well, I don't know if they're doing other people's cars or not. But they're getting my car like every single morning. Like I, they, they have to be doing it in the middle of the night. Because I keep getting up earlier and earlier and staring out the window trying to catch them. Well, there's frost on my car like every morning. Well, at least for the you past couple of mornings. You have in your neighborhood too? Well, I, no, because the other cars in my neighborhood, that they also have frost. That I think just happens in the wintertime, no, if I'm well, being honest. No, no, it's not just like there's somebody pranking me because, listen, okay, so the other day I went to the grocery store, right? Mm -hmm. And I parked mm -hmm. my, my car in the fifth row, four, four spots from the door. Okay. I come back out and it's not there. Oh, and like okay. I'm thinking, oh That's no, somebody's serious. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. somebody stole my car. Like somebody uh -huh. just broke into my car and drove away. But I, I had the keys with me. And, but then, then I found it, and it was oh. like one row over, same exact spot, oh. one row over. But somebody oh. got in my car, moved it, pranking me. Are you sure you just maybe weren't mistaken that you had parked? I know just where a I parked over? my car, Bethany. Okay, well. They just hmm. moved it. Those rap scallions or whoever it is, they're following me. They're taunting me. Man, that is that is a rough morning. It a is. Rough time. So how, how are you going to fix that? So I, th I think tonight what I'll do, I think I'm going to get up. I think I'm just not even going to go to bed. Like I'm just going to mm -hmm. sit on the front porch with a coat on because it gets pretty cold at night. You know? oh, mm -hmm. and so I'm just going to sit out there and I'm just going to stare at my car all night long. Oh, Mr. Man, I wouldn't do that. I want to catch those little... Rap scallions. I don't know what else to call them, mm -hmm. but I want to catch them in the act and mm -hmm. like throw things at them, hurt them, like oh, club Mr. them Man. with a stick. Oh, uh... Have you ever heard of someone getting getting like a switch like from a tree? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut a switch from a tree. Well, actually, there's no trees around my house. I'll I'll cut a switch on my way home today, and I'll just have it there with me. Oh man, for for their sake, I hope there are no kids in your neighborhood <laughs> around tonight. But n sir, I I me too. If they I know hope. it's good for them. You're listening to the Josh Mann podcast, featuring director extraordinaire Josh Mann. All right, guys. So as we uh, started out our episode, I mean, we we're talking about it being colder, um, and that's because it's December now, and. We're in the holiday season. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. I love Christmas music. I love Me Christmas too. food. Me too, Christmas yeah. Christmas clothes. Okay. I love everything mm -hmm. that's Christmas. Me too. It's tis the season. Tis indeed. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about? I knew you said it was going to be holiday themed. Yeah, but... so I thought something fun to discuss today. I know typically what we do is we try to give advice to upcoming filmmakers, mm -hmm. but I thought it might be... A uh, little fun to veer directions for today. And I wanted to share um, my favorite holiday family films. Oh, awesome. So, awesome. I have a bunch of, you know, favorite holiday films. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, maybe, uh, maybe some of yours made my list. That would be cool. Um, my family is really into watching Elf. Uh, my dad will come up from Colorado and oh. we'll all watch it together. And it's it's so funny. I think no, we could probably quote. It, is it funny? Yeah. I, I just. Somebody told me that. I watched it. It wasn't funny. Really? I'm it, it, surprised by that. Like, oh, man, we could honestly quote it now. We've seen it so many yeah. times. What else? What else? Well, yeah, like? that one and the, the Polar Express is another oh one that we gosh. watch a lot. You Ugh. don't like that one? No. Like, the everyone's creepy looking. 
Okay, yeah, I you can, know that's true. Right? I kind of see that, but yeah. I don't know. It's it's cute. I can't, to I can't us. even look it's at cute. it. It hurts. Man, well, uh, there's there's a whole bunch of Christmas movies. Well, let me we tell like. you mine, and then maybe oh. maybe you'll agree with these. Okay. Okay, so these are Josh Mann's top five favorite family films for the holidays. Okay. Number five is The Shining. The Shining. Yes, The Shining is a is a it's kind of a classic. It's a throwback from um, a filmmaker named Stanley Kubrick, who was just oh a master at making uh, good, uh, fun family films. Um, the Shining okay. is a story of a family who gets trapped in uh, the snowstorm in uh, like a lodge somewhere. And it's just their kind of little bumbling, silly activities that they do oh while goodness. they're stuck in this uh, stuck in this lodge. Uh, like w- my favorite scene is when the mom accidentally locks herself in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And so the dad has to come rescue her. And, oh my and she's all screaming and scared because she doesn't think she's ever going to get out. Mm. She's think She thinks she's stuck in a bathroom for the rest of her life. But luckily he comes along and saves her. Then there's a scene where the, uh, this little boy is writing on the walls. I'm not sure what he like crayons or something. I don't know. But he's writing on the walls and, and his mom's like, don't you write on the walls? And it's just a funny little moment. And I've never considered that a Christmas movie, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, there's snow everywhere it's, and it's cold. It's a scary movie, isn't it? What? It's, no, it's kind of scared it's just, it's just me when I was silly. younger. It's, just, it's, it's like one of those silly family movies. Like We grew up watching that all the time when I was a little kid. I think When you were little? I think I was seven, maybe, the first time we watched oh, that as a family. And it was just... And my parents were laughing, and uh, yeah, it was just a good time. That's kind of explains a lot, but wow. Okay, so that was number five. Yep, number four uh, is a relatively new film called Abominable Abomin Abomin Abominable Christmas. Abominable Christmas. Abominable Christmas. Okay, well, yes. that sounds like a Christmas film. I haven't even heard of that. Yeah, but, it's. I, I believe um, it's um, animated. Okay, uh, the you cover, believe? Yes, mm-hmm. the the. The artwork online looked like it was animated, mm. and um, I think it's it's probably a really really good film. Probably, yeah. Have it you stars seen it? Uh, Emilio Estevez, okay. Emilio Estevez, okay. um, America's Sweetheart, the probably the most underrated um, artist of our of our um, generation. He plays the part of Mister Winterbottom, and not sure Mister Winterbottom is the lead character. I think there's actually an abominable no snowman. That's the lead character, oh. and that's why it's called the Bon Middle Christmas. So I, I'm just curious how this movie made your top five list, but you haven't seen it yet. Is no, that right? I haven't. But it's it's Emilio Estevez, right? right and so I I, right. I didn't really feel like I should put it any higher on the list since I haven't seen it. But but it's on the list. It's well, it's Emilio Estevez, so you know it's going to be like fantastic, mm. and so. I felt like well, I can't leave it off the list, right? Okay. And so that would that would be silly. So anyway, I put it at number four because I felt like that's kind of safe. That's a safe mm. spot for okay. it. Okay. Well, I hope you get to see it soon. I can't wait. I think uh, next time I go to Walmart, I think I'm gonna. I saw it one time in the bargain bin mm-hmm. um, for like two ninety nine, but I didn't have enough cash on me. But uh, I've been saving up, so I think next time we go to Walmart, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. Well, that's a good way to. Celebrate Christmas is bargain bin movies. Anyway, what's number three? Number three is an American classic called Rocky Four. Rocky Four. Yes, Rocky <laughs> Four is um, probably the best of all of the Rocky movies. Um, Rocky fights Russia and wins, and mm. it's kind of this tale of um, Rocky's best friend Apollo Creed um, is getting ready to fight Russia just for fun, really. And um, but James Brown comes out and sings a song first about America, and it makes Russia really mad. And so Russia uh, just goes over and kills Apollo Creed is because that James what Brown's happens? song. And so Rocky determined he's determined to get revenge because Apollo's dead now. Um, uh. And so Rocky like starts running through snow because it's really good for your legs. And he like drags logs and stuff because that snow. builds big mm. muscles. And then he goes mm. to this old barn and does chin-ups. And like he's like getting ready to fight Russia. And he does and he wins. And then he says to his little boy, he says, Merry Christmas, go to bed. And it's just a great family um, Christmas movie. See, that's another one that I've just never considered a, a Christmas movie. But now that you've explained. Yeah. And if you little... actually listen to it, he says, Merry Christmas, go to bed, which tells you it's a Christmas movie. Wow. 
Okay, and so it's number three on the list. Number three on the list. Rocky okay. fights Russia and wins. Wow. All okay. right. Well, what's number two? Number two is the um, holiday classic Jingle All the Way okay. 2. Oh, well, I think I maybe have heard of the first one. I actually didn't know they made yeah. it second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first one was called Jingle All the Way or maybe Jingle All the Way 1. I don't really remember. Oh. But this one is Jingle All the Way 2, which is the sequel to whatever the first one was. And mm. um, and it's twice as good. Um, really? It, yes, it stars Larry the Cable Guy. Which, really? Yes, it, he's very, very funny. He I is. If, yeah. I agree with that. He's a funny comedian. Yes, and like... Um, my dog and I will watch this movie every holiday, every Christmas mm -hmm. season, and we just laugh and laugh. Um, <laughs> he'll always go, like Larry the Cable Guy, like he says things, and it's always like, oh, go, 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 you know, and like we just laugh <laughs> our heads off. Good impression. And, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> and so anyway, I realized something this past Christmas, and I'm always going to do this from now on. And you should. Have you ever seen this movie? No, I haven't. Okay, you this, need to watch it. I know. Or you need to listen to it, because like... The best way to watch this movie is with your eyes closed. Why? Yeah, Sparky and I do it now for every time we watch it. We watch Why? it with our eyes closed. Because Larry the Cable Guy, when you listen to it with your eyes closed, it sounds like Mater from the Cars. From Cars. Starring in a Jingle All the Way movie. And that oh. makes it even funnier. Yeah. Man, I forget that Larry the Cable Guy voiced... Mater, so I, I can see how that could be fun. That, oh. that could be really fun. Oh, he did the voice of Mater? Yeah. Well, that would explain why it sounds like Mater. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's that's funny that you do that, though. I I might need to yeah, that's, watch it. Or the I guess best listen. way to watch that movie yeah. is with your eyes closed. Okay, well, if I get the chance, I'll do that. <laughs> and my number one movie. Okay, number on one. On this list. Woo. And this will probably come as no surprise for those of you who know my taste in films. Number one is Spy Kids in 3D. Okay, I, I knew that was one of your favorites, if not your favorite, but how is this one a Christmas movie? Well, now that I'm looking at it, I, I think I I think I got confused here. Because I had mm. like I had like Rocky Four and then I had Jingle All the Way Two and I think I I think I was I thought I was writing a list of my favorite sequels. Oh. Um, but it was actually favorite Christmas film. I just I oh, got that's confused. that's okay. Shoot. That's okay. Well, yeah. hey, you you could replace it with Elf. <laughs> no, like no, I no. So I, I'm you know what? Spy Kids in 3D. I'm confident enough to say it is the number one movie um on this list. It is my favorite holiday film. It's holiday um, film. And it should be yours as well. Wow. Okay. Well, there you have it, listeners. That's uh, Josh Mann's top five <laughs> holiday films, kind of holiday films. But uh, wow, there we have it. Let's let's go to our sponsor. Okay. Today's episode is sponsored by John's John's. John's John's slogan is "Your dumps are our bread and butter." John and his team are excited to promote their Christmas special. 50% off plumbing and roto rootering until January 1st. Thank you, John and team. Well, it's great to know about John's John's. Uh, you yeah. know, I've never heard of them. And I, I actually need um, somebody to come unclog my toilet at least a couple times a week. Usually. Really? Yeah, oh, usually no. a guy named Jerry um, does it and he brings a roto rooter. He's got that. He lives like two, two doors down, charges me like. 25 bucks or something oh, each time. Oh, wow. Uh, it's not too bad, you know. And really? Have you ever seen a roto rooter work? I haven't. I didn't uh, even know what that word was. It's so fun. Honest. I've, I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed to say it, but I've clogged my toilet a couple times on purpose just so I could watch Jerry and his roto rooter. But now I'm going to call John's John's and, really? and have them come. Maybe I'll clog my toilet tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Okay, well, whatever you do in your spare time, that's cool. Um, but uh, listeners, if you want to sponsor um, the Josh Man podcast, uh, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. We now have a phone number, as we have um, announced, and it is 347-766-5225. So if you ever want to call that, um, to be completely honest, the phone isn't monitored often, but definitely leave us a voicemail and we'll get back to you. We may get back to you. It depends on who you are and what it is you're calling about. 
But if you are willing to spend money with us and sponsor us, then yes, somebody will call you back eventually. Yes, and uh, you can also email us at joshmangenius at gmail.com. And that's easy mm-hmm. to remember because I am a genius. Mm-hmm. And so it's easy to remember that email address. Yeah, and you can email us questions or you could email us about sponsoring. But uh, Yes, and actually I, I love it when people send in questions or topics that they'd like for me to cover because I am here for nothing else other than to serve you and make lots of money. Yeah, he's he's good at doing that, folks. So definitely send him an email. But also check out our social media. Uh, we are on Facebook um, and we are also on YouTube and we're pretty easy to find. Just Josh Mann podcast. Well, listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. And we hope to see you right back here next week at the same time, same channel. Woohoo! You've been listening to the Josh Mann podcast featuring director extraordinaire Josh Mann. 